Okay. All right, so I'll say good morning. This is Miss Fran at Reed Memorial Library, and I'm happy that you're here for preschool story time because we have some really good books today. So would you help me sing the opening song? I bet you everybody knows it. So if you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, clap your hands. If you'd like to read a book, let's see, pretend you're a snowflake. If you'd like to read a book, pretend you're a snowflake. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, pretend you're a snowflake. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. If you'd like to read a book, come on close and take a look. If you'd like to read a book, shout hooray, hooray. Well, I have a really, really good book to start with this morning. And this book has beautiful pictures. That's why it's called a picture book. And this is called My Rainy Day Rocket Ship. And it's by Marquette Chappard. And the pictures are by Charlie Palmer. So this has beautiful artwork in it. All right, so let's open it up. Did you know sometimes when we have a rainy day in the winter time, what can you do? Is it easy to go outside and play when it's raining? Not very. You can play the puddles, that's true, and it's a really fun thing to do, especially if it's a little warmer, but when it's cold like this, playing in the puddles can get very chilly. But it is fun. So sometimes when it's rainy outside, we're kind of stuck inside, aren't we? And that's what this is about. This is about a boy who found things to do indoors when he couldn't go outdoors. It's called My Rainy Day Rocket Ship. There's the boy, he's looking out the window. He says, Mom says it's too rainy to play outside today, so I'll have to find my fun another way. I could get in some laps with inside toys, cars and games that bring much joy. He's playing with all of his indoor toys like a bear and a dog and his, his football. Those aren't, but you can't really play football inside. He looks a little bit bored. But I've been there and I've done that stuff. To, today, I'll make something really tough. And see, he's thinking. Like a whole new world in a different place, a galaxy off in outer space. What does that look like right there? What do you think he's going to make? He's thinking about a rocket or a spaceship. I'll need a rocket to get me there. Hmm, how about this rocking chair? He's gonna use some of the furniture. And I'll need a super launching pad. This will require some tools from Dad. Like dad has quite a few tools. A cardboard box and a bunch of socks. Looks like the dog is looking in too. These will surely serve me well. On this mission, I cannot fail. Look what he's done with the socks. Look, his arms are in the socks. Now he has colorful arms. Now let me see about a spacesuit. These swimming trunks and goggles should do. We put on his swim trunks 
in his goggles, and that's his space suit. Space suit, I can't talk. Of course, astronauts need a flag. Perhaps I can use Mom's old dish rag. Ooh, what a pretty flag he's got now. Now, if I can just get Mom to turn off the light, this astronaut's crew is ready for flight. Can you see him in there? There's the box. It says spaceship. And there he is with his goggles on. He's ready to blast off into outer space. Dad does a countdown from behind the couch. Can you count down with me? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Mom makes sure I don't feel an ouch. Here he goes. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All the way from the living room, down the hall, riding on a broom. Prepare for landing on planet XYZ. It's a safe arrival in BED. Can you guess what BED spells? He's the same place Noah is this morning. It's B-E-D, right, it spells bed. This place is also known as the land of Z's. There he is, he's falling asleep. And he has the little planets right above him. The end. So that was about a boy who was able to come up with something unusual and creative to play inside. All right, so we have a song that goes right along with the words that said he went zoom, zoom, zoom. He was flying down the hallway on a broom. Do you know this one where you go zoom, zoom, zoom? We're going to the moon. Do you know that one? Oh, I thought everybody knew this one. Well, here, I'll teach it to you then. You put your hands like this and you pretend you're blasting off. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Okay, let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! All right, let's, now there's a second verse that says zoom, 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 we're going to the stars. So let's try that one. Zoom, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Let's count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! So we did it just like that boy in the book, didn't we? We made a rocket ship and we blasted off. All right, I'm gonna grab a tiny drink of water because all that zooming into outer space made me thirsty. Okay, the next book that we have this morning is a book that, boy, we really, we really could have been reading all these last weeks and maybe this weekend too. It's called Snowballs and it's by Lois Ellert. And Lois Ellert writes the story, but she also makes the pictures. Can you tell how she makes the pictures? By looking at the book? Look, what, what is the snowman's uh, mouth made out of? Can you tell? It looks like little carrots, but they're tiny little, they're tiny little grains of corn, kind of like popcorn. And she cut out a picture of a strawberry for the nose, and she put a real hat on him and made a little bird with popcorn in its beak. She uses all kinds of objects to make her pictures. Ooh, look at the snow coming down in that picture. 
called Snowballs by Lois Ellert. So this book has a very few words. It has lots of pictures. Do you think that birds know when it's going to snow? What do you think? Do you think the birdies know when it's going to snow? No? Well, she says, I do. The seeds we left outside were almost all gone. New snow would soon bury the rest. Look, there's a red bird. What do you call a red bird? Do you know the name of it? A cardinal. Cardinal is a red bird. And there's Mrs. Redbird and Mr. Redbird. We've been waiting for a really big snow, saving good stuff in a sack. Finally, it was a perfect snowball day. They've got bird seed and all kinds of pretty cords, popcorn, sunflower seeds, peanuts, walnuts, and corn. All those looks like a lot of those things are things birds like to eat. Here we go, we're going this way. Ooh, that's a tall page. We rolled three snowballs <clears throat> and we made a snowman daddy. And look, they put popcorn on the snow and corn for his mouth. And who's up here with popcorn in his mouth? And down here too, whoops. The birds are eating the snowman's, some of his tummy. That's good, all right. Let's go back this way and see what happens next. Whoa, another one. Then we added a snow mommy. They made her eyes out of raisins. Look what's in her little bag. Peanuts. Who do you think likes to eat peanuts? You have an idea? Nobody? Okay. Well, sometimes I think you like to eat peanuts. Yeah, there you go. Well, look who else likes to eat peanuts. Look, he's got one right there between his paws. Little. That's Dewey the squirrel? Okay. So then they made a cool snow boy. And look, he's got a compass for his nose and some pieces of hardware for his eyes, wheels for his ears. But there's the corn for the animals. And this little squirrel, Dewey, he has a peanut from the mama snowman's pouch. And here's a snow girl. Look at her face, isn't she cute? She's got a pine cone for her mouth. And look, there's sunflower seeds. Oh, look who's eating the sunflower seeds. Mmm, the birds are saying yum, thank you. And now they made a round little snow baby. His funny little cap, little bow in his hair. The arms are made out of forks, but there's sunflower seeds all over him because they're feeding the birds. That's a fun way to feed the birds. Then they built a cat. <laughs> Look, the cat has a necktie on and fish for eyebrows. And to end the day, we made our dog Spot. Spot's spots are made out of buttons, and his nose is made out of a walnut. Mm. I guess you know what happened when the sun came out. The snow dad is shrinking. The mom is mush, and the boy's a blob, and the girl is slush. The baby is melting and the cat's getting small. The dog is a puddle. So long, snowball. But when they melted, look, the food was left. And now that bird is looking at that nut like, hmm, I think I will eat that. Here's all the good stuff that they had saved up in that bag that they used to make their snowmen out of. All different kinds of things. Here's the beautiful snow mittens that they wear to keep warm. And if you look real close, here's some pictures of real snowmen. 
with a carrot nose, funny eyes, a scarf. Somebody made a snowman and put it on top of their mailbox. Isn't that funny? I don't think that would last very long. I like making snowmen. So maybe when the snow comes this weekend, maybe you'll be able to get outside, it's not too slippery, and make another snowman. So uh, to go along with the idea of feeding the birds, we have a little finger play. I'm gonna bring this over so you can see that I put some pictures of birds on my little paper here. Do you know what this one's called? What color is it? Blue, it's, yeah, bluebird. I, blue jay, very good. It's not a bluebird, it's a blue jay. I was saying that wrong. So, and sometimes we shorten and we just say jay because what that bird says is jay, jay, jay. And when he comes to the bird feeder, he shoes a lot of the other birds away. And we already talked about this bird that's red, right? Cardinal. What color is this bird? It's kind of black. He's really a very, very dark gray, but he looks black. And his tummy is actually a little bit more white than it shows here, but this is called a junco. Can you say junco? It, it almost sounds like it's full of junk, but it's not. He's not junky. He's just a junco. This little bird is so tiny and he's very cute and he says, Chickadee dee dee dee. Chickadee dee. Because he's a chickadee. Very good. You guys are like natural scientists already. So here we go. Here's how our finger play goes. Here is the bird feeder. Here are seeds and crumbs. Sprinkle them on and see what comes. One cardinal, one chickadee, one junco. One J. Four of my bird friends are eating today. Let's do that one more time, okay? Let me see your bird feeders. Here is the bird feeders. Here are seeds and crumbs. Sprinkle them on and see what comes. One cardinal, one chickadee, one junco, one J. Four of my bird friends are eating today. They might get scared when that blue jay says, Jay! He tries to scare them all away. We'll push them away. Mr. Jay, you be nice to the other birds. Okay, we have one last book this morning, and this is another book that has very few pictures, or very few words, but has beautiful pictures. See this gold seal right here? That means it won an award for the pictures. It's the, it, the name of the book is Wolf in the Snow, and it's by Matthew Cordell. Can you see what's happening on the, in the, on the front cover? It's a little person dressed in a red coat, looks like snow, and look at this, some type of a little animal. I wonder if it's a wolf. All right, let's look at the story. Yeah, well, wolves like to, they can bite, can't they? All right, so let's start at the first page. I'm sorry. So here we go. Looks like a mama and a daddy and a dog and a little girl. Maybe she's saying goodbye. It looks like it's snowing outside. She, maybe she's going to school. The dog says, bark, 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 bark. And she's waving. Look at that snow coming down. Okay, here's two little pictures. So this is happening over here, and this is happening somewhere else. There's the little girl. She's walking. What kind of animals are these? I think somebody already said it once. This one is going, oh, 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 oh. These are wolves, it's a pack of wolves. There's three big, four big ones. One, two, three, four, and look, this little tiny one in the middle. Looks like he's still a pup. Wolf in the snow.
Okay, so she's been to school, because there's the schoolhouse. She was at school all day. There's the other children, they're leaving, and she's going home. She's got her warm coat on. Hmm. You know, look, wolves are going by. You can see their breath in the picture. It must be cold outside. And there's a little teeny wolf. He's with the big ones. Wow, look, the snow is coming down harder and harder. Gotta get some water so we can turn this a little bit. Hmm, uh-oh, what's happening? The big wolves are going here. They forgot to look at the little wolf and he's falling behind. Uh-oh. Here's the girl, she's trying to get home. It's snowing so hard and she's heading for the woods. Look at the little puppy, the wolf pup. He's having a hard time too, getting through all that snow. Oh, the girl, she's going, oh, oh that's what it says. Oh, oh. And the little wolf pup says, he's whining. She's holding her hands out to him, and he doesn't look like he's too sure. He's going, So she starts walking with him, and look how deep the snow is getting. And pretty soon, the little wolf puppy falls right in the snow. He goes, And she reaches down and picks him up, and he goes, In the distance, the girl hears, Ow! and she's thinking, hmm, I wonder what that means. Look how far they're walking and walking and walking in the snow. And she's carrying the little wolf pup. Ow! She hears off in the distance. She's trying to get across a little stream of water. And here, that looks like a very angry raccoon or something, some kind of an animal, and she's got a stick. She says, stay back, stay back. What's up here in the tree? You see it? It says, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh. Girl says, oh, oh, oh. she has really been walking a long way carrying that pup. Oh boy, her eyes get big and wide when she sees one of the adult wolves. Do you think that maybe that wolf could be the mama or the papa wolf of that little baby? The baby looks excited. See, he recognizes, but the girl, her eyes are big. She's scared. And the wolf is looking very carefully. These great yellow eyes. The wolf gets down. Says the big wolf. The puppy is, is sinking down in the snow. And he, the big wolf is sniffing him and licking him. And then suddenly picks him up and away they go. Oh, she is so relieved and she is very tired. She's kind of fallen over in the snow. I think she was afraid what the wolf would do. Now the wolves are over here with the pup and the girl is still going on trying to get to her house. The wolf is watching her though. Hmm, what will happen next? So she gets to the top of the hill and she hears bark, bark. She sees some light. She's trying so hard to get there in the, all that snow. <gasps> oh, finally, she's just so tired. She falls over in the snow. Oh no, oh no, she's cold and she's tired. And now look who's coming. What do you think will happen? Bark, bark. Bark. The little wolf, the little pup, comes and licks her on the face. Oh, say the wolves. Bark, bark, says the dog. Bark, bark. Look, there's her dog. And look, it 
someone come to rescue her. They found her with a flashlight. It's getting dark out. Oh! And they look and they see that the wolves were trying to help lead them to find her in the snow. Here's the little pup. And so there the, the grown-up has picked her up and is carrying her down the hill. And here's another grown-up down here with another flashlight. Oh, they're so thankful to have found her. Oh my goodness. And they get inside, and the fire is warm. Even though it's still snowing outside, can you see the dog is licking the girl's face? They're so happy to have found her. That was, that was dangerous to have to walk so far in that snow. But she helped the wolf, didn't she? And the grown-up wolves didn't forget. They helped her in the end, didn't they? That was kind of a cool story. I liked that one. All right. I don't have a sample of, of the craft right here with me because they were all in bags waiting for people to pick them up. And so in your bag, you have a really cool pine cone and some white stuff in a container called lard. And the directions are in there about how to spread the lard on the pine cone and how to get the seeds to stick to it. It has a string and then you can hang it in one of your trees. So you can hang it in a tree or a bush, and there should be some seeds left over. And if you sprinkle those on the ground, that'll help some of the little birds that eat off the ground. Like, for example, oops, I'm grabbing a, I'm grabbing a picture. I'm sorry, here. The little junco, whoop, he tried to fly away. The little junco actually likes to eat on the ground. He doesn't like to eat at a bird feeder. So if you put some of the remaining crumb, or the remaining seeds on the ground, then the junco will have something to eat too. So I hope you have fun with that. Sometimes it takes the birds a little bit of time to find the bird feeder, but be patient because they, they usually will find it and they love that fat that's called lard because not only does it smell good to them, but they need it in their body for energy, especially in the winter. So you will really be helping them out in this cold weather. So, all right, well, let's, let's sing our goodbye song. You guys know how to sing it? I bet everybody knows it, right? because I'm really glad you came today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week too. So let's sing, I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. One more time, let's do it all together. I'm glad you came today. I'm glad you came today. I hope that you will come again. I'm glad you came today. Bye.